I had a really good day today. But Comet Atlas is really falling apart. The disintegration of Comet Atlas C 2019Y4 is accelerating. It's photos from the 21st. But yeah, it got to a maximum magnitude of 4.6. Totally fell apart and is now at an 8.6 magnitude. But it won't be gone as fast as a puff of meteor smoke in action. The best meteor during this month's Lyrid meteor shower might not have been a Lyrid at all. On April 21st, which seemed to be a busy day, Robert Barsa was outside the city of Koslice, Slovakia. I put an L in there because I like to say slice. Watching meteors fly out of the constellation Lyra when a flash lit up the sky from a completely different direction. I saw it in my peripheral vision, says Basara. As I looked reflexively above my head, I was speechlessly staring at a meteor much brighter than Venus. All right, now comes the really scary portion of the Thor news. Signs in the Heavens, episode April 26th, 2020. A Venus Corona. I know. Was that a joke or a trigger? Either way, that brings us swinging over to astrology. All right, so Mercury has been in Aries, and it will Mercury will enter Taurus tomorrow, Monday the 27th. And Mercury is like the messenger, the one powerful and cool enough to go between heaven and hell and all the heavenly bodies. And then, on May 12th, you have Mars going from Aquarius into Pisces. And then, on May 13th, you have Venus stationing retrograde, and that is huge. Because you get wild, wacky weather, because Venus is real close to Earth, bro. And she's always doing crazy stuff. Um, and so, and then, you know, people's relationships tend to get wonkier. And then on the 14th, Jupiter stations retrograde in Capricorn. Oh, yeah, I forgot May 9th, Saturn stations retrograde. So, May, May has been the month we've been focusing on the most in a bigger sense. Uh, since we were looking out for something major to happen in January, which was, you know, the plague. And so now May should be a May Day 2020 month for sure. The universe is a big, complicated place. Our solar system is a big, complicated place. And it's not as easy as black and white. Hey, this asteroid 1998 OR2. Did you want double-headed Atlas? Or double-head Atlas? Well, you got it. Oh, man. That almost even looks phallic. Yes, yeah, so the Space Force probably blew it to bits with lasers. So that's good, I guess, right? And they shot it right after it passed us and its debris field would have passed us. So it was a very wise shooting. Good job, boys and girls and ladies and men. And aliens? Asterisk. This solar halo from R.J. Cobain. Relation, probably. Um, you know, there's a lot going on. When the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird, and the sky looked 5D today. We still got like seven months left in 2020, so there's still time for a super wow comet. But it does not appear that Atlas will be it. You know, Elon Musk and friends have put up like a gazillion satellites that are definitely leaving... Uh, impressions in the photographs of all people taking pictures in the sky, pretty much. And so, you know, he keeps saying, hey, I, I'm eventually going to use these thousand satellites to give people internets. But, you know, Elon Musk is a stockholder. And a lot of times stockholders do what they can to make their stock price go up. So there's no telling what those satellites are being used for, man. Like, there's no telling. You know, he's like, eventually... We're going to take these 12,000 satellites and give people the internet. But I'm like, what is going to happen? What are you guys doing with them? And the year before that is going to happen or supposed to happen. I'm very curious. It's a very interesting subject. This is like another Starlink photo. You know, there's quite a few of them. And they make quite an image. Uh, adjuster adapter. Uh, 
is just signs of the times and signs in the heavens. You know, they just keep releasing these things. They keep putting them up and releasing them. They they put up at least 420 now. I don't even know how much are up. They made a put just an extra 420 in the last batch. And, you know, Elon and friends are like, yeah, we're eventually going to give poor people in Nigeria internet. I'm like, okay, you know, that sounds cool. Um, but what are these things doing till that happens? I'm very curious. If I mentioned that. Venus is a total mystery that I love. Um, that, but the colors of Venus, you know, are always fascinating. Ooh, remember the very first photo ever taken of Venus? As the first photo they ever showed us of Venus, bro. That's that's all. It's still one of the most interesting things I've stumbled across at Thor News. That like, wow, Venus looked just like Earth. Yeah, but it's a crazy world. That's Venus. Um, and you know, it's at this time when people are locked down. May is supposed to be the most challenging relationship month. So I'm just giving everybody a heads up. Put your game faces on and recognize, hey, May is definitely going to be challenging on almost every level. So reduce the abuse and try not to make life harder for other people because we're all going through this together and it's pretty stressful for all of us. Although as your planetary defense commander, I am a little more used to the having the weight of the world on your shoulders, pressure, stress that comes with the day-to-day -day operations of life, you know? Like, could the world end today? Could I get assassinated by ninjas and robots and demons? Or just really angry people, you know? And so every day is, is cliffhanger, and it makes you appreciate things that you have that are good more and more. This is Comet C2019Y1, and it seems to have the double tail. Is that the anti-tail? Where it's almost making the V. And that's always interesting. An Aurora Green Band. Or Green Aurora Band. Means that um, they play reggae sets. And pass the Ducci Penny left hand side. That was dumb. Bob Marley's great though. Fantastic. One of the greatest of all time. That's beautiful. Beppe Colombo is a joint mission of the European Space Agency. And the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. I wonder what the difference between aerospace and space is. Anyway, they're teaming up to go to Mercury. And I'm super cool about that. Mercury is one of the most underrated and powerful planets in our solar system. I love you, Mercury. Like I said, he's the one that has the ability to go between all the heavens, all the solar bodies, heaven and hell, planets, and communicate back and forth. So like when Pluto and Mars are fighting, or having a disagreement, or Uranus and Venus... Mercury can work it out, and the sun, and Eris, and you know, so that is cool. And here's little Beppy Colombo now, flying through space. Pew, pew. Are you a sun watcher like me? I have seen the sun do many amazing things, and when it sets, it sometimes is like a color gradient change from the inside, when it looks like a giant cool lava lamp it's hard to explain but it's beautiful every time i see it when it does that when it's very diffuse but very lava lampy you know what i'm talking about i love the sun and comet c2020 f8 swan is looking pretty good and it's not supposed to reach its maximum magnitude velocity area range location place until may and I would get excited about it, but dang, at this point, Space Force seems so good. I'll probably blow it to bits if it's a problem. Also, I mean, they're good. it seems like they're good at asteroids, um, comets, and hurricanes now. So I'm glad that while I've been here at Thor News, that we've gotten better at asteroid defense and comet defense and hurricane defense. And I hope that holds. Now, we're going to master the dang plague. And the book on comets is, is that they're made of extremely thin gas and dust with tiny solid nucleus. And this was demonstrated this morning by Comet Swan, passing almost perfectly in front of a star. Note how the star's brightness is completely unaffected. And so, will Comet Swan be the comet of the century? Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, you know, I'm a little not let down by Atlas. I just really wanted to see a cool comet in the sky. Thought that would have definitely felt very 2020-y, you know? 
All right. So I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord Newthor Seven, the T, bringing you the signs in the heavens. And so, it, yeah, May, we got a couple days left in April, and by all indications, May has been a month I've been pointing to that, like May Day, May Day, May Day, twenty twenty. So everybody, please be ready for it to get a little wilder. And for the universe to hand us more interesting challenges. Sprinkled with some good times. Hopefully. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Have a great Sunday.